and welcome to another Winter Cake Academy tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use moulds, how to fill them, what to do to let them set and then how to paint them afterwards. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do um, is dust our mould with a little bit. I've got corn flour. I just think that's the best. I think icing sugar can get a little sticky. I'm just going to give that a liberal dusting and then I'll just turn it over and tap out the excess and pop that to the side just for a second. So I'm using modelling paste for this today. Um, you don't have to, you can just use your regular sugar paste with a bit of silo added to it just to give it a little more strength and elasticity. But for today's demonstration I'm going to use the modelling paste. I'm just giving it a bit of a knead just to make sure it's nice and pliable. And then all I'll do is sort of flatten it out a little bit with my fingers and I'll take my mould and I'm literally just going to push that into the mould. It's sometimes better to put a little bit of the excess corn flour onto your fingers or else you're going to get pretty sticky and sometimes when you're pushing it in you just pull it straight back out again. So once you're pretty sure all the little crevices are going to be full, I just take this little cutting tool and I just work my way out from the edges, literally just trimming off all that excess paste. I just find this tool works really well because it sort of almost drags the paste away and doesn't cut it. It just gives a nice edge and then you can just use your finger to sort out any slight problems with the edge you might have afterwards. So as you can see, it's coming together nicely. Okay, once you get to this sort of stage where it's nearly completely clear, you can just use your fingers to pull the edges back from the side of the mould and that will take away any sort of frilly bits that you've got. And then we're ready to turn it out. So I'm going to turn it straight out onto a foam mat and then it can dry without us having to move it at all. So literally just peel your mould back and just use your thumb or a finger just to gently coax that out. Okay, there we go and if you've sort of stretched any bits and pieces you can sort of work those right back into the into the right shape. And there we go, we're just going to leave that to dry for a, a few hours at least. Okay, so we're back and it's nice and firm now, our moulded anchor. So what I'm going to do, I've just mixed up some um, sugar flare satin silver with a little bit of orange flavouring or orange extract. You can use lemon. I just prefer to use this. It gives a really nice shine when we're making a metallic paint. So, And you want it to be reasonably thick. You don't want it too sort of wishy-washy or else you're not going to get a nice silver to your anchor. And so, literally just give it a good coating all over and hopefully if our paint's thick enough it'll just take the one coat to do it. And the nice thing about the lemon or orange extract is that it dries really, really, really fast. It just sort of evaporates really quickly. So you're not left waiting for ages 
for your anchor to dry. Okay, so there we go, our anchor's all painted, and as you can see, it's got a really nice shine to it. That's a little bit of oil that's left over from the orange or lemon extract, so it just gives it a really nice finish. So, if you liked what you've seen, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.